Hello there everyone and welcome back to part 4 of our Sussex Farm multiplayer let's play and we're back here with Dragon. Yo, it's only me! <laughs> we're missing half the crew today but they may jump in. We'll just have to see what <laughs> happens. And uh, yeah, we're just seeding right now. I'm over here on field 6. I'm just going to plant some soybean. Dragon is over there on the four fields there. 9, 25, 10 and 24. Okay, so I'm going to fire this up. I'm trying out the new case quad track here. I'm just going to do this field myself since it's so small. Uh, oh man, I'm going to have to get the key to this thing. you got to take it really slow. Yeah. Otherwise, it just swings everywhere. <laughs> so, you, those of you who missed it, John Deere is going to be part of uh, Fermi Sim 19. Yoo hoo! Yeah, and, indeed. And cotton, and horses, and who knows what else. But, oats. Yeah. Oats for the crop. Uh, oats, too. Nice. Yeah, now I'd imagine uh, there'll be a couple more brand names in there we didn't have before. Maybe Class or something, or I'll have to see. But I can't wait to see those shiny John Deere's, man. Oh, yeah. They're going to look so good. That's some of the favorite mods I run when I'm doing single player by myself, is my John Deere mods. Nice. So having yeah. an official one, yeah, that'll be good. Some people, uh, yeah, they got entire fleets made up of just John Deere stuff. But yeah, the official stuff will look so good. It was funny watching some of the, uh, some of the YouTubers' videos who swore that John Deere will never, never, never come into this game. <laughs> Not under no circumstances. Yeah, you're never going to see it. Surprise. And they're really happy it is, but it's like, yeah. uh, I'm a little embarrassed. I never thought it would happen, but here it yeah. is. That's it. The only reason I thought it wouldn't happen is just if they didn't have it by now, it's like, what? what's the problem? You know what I mean? But <laughs> it looks like they, uh, they gave in. And like you said, it's the anniversary and everything, so... Good time. Yeah. Oh shit, I got a phone call. I'll be right back. Yep. Yeah. Alright, folks, we finished that field. Oh. Just a small one. And now we'll head on over to. Well, I'm gonna get a uh, the yacht up there to empty that harvester. Up in field one there. He still needs quite a bit. There's a, that's all sugar beets. One and two are combined. And that's all sugar beets. We already, we already got a million liters out of this. And there's probably another million left. The problem is this harvester only holds 100,000 liters. And all our tippers can hold a million. So it slows down the process. And we seem to be running out of space to uh, put this stuff. Because our silos only hold 500,000 liters, which is filled now. And our sugar plant is filled. That's the million liters. So we'll just have to find a spot for this somewhere. Could always dump it on the ground, just pick it up later. Oh, there was a semi there. I didn't even know. Oh, well. Okay, back we go. Oh, I must not have him programmed in. <coughs> Excuse me. Where are you? Case. Did I miss that? 
There it is. Okay, control E. Oh, he's in he's in the uh, wrong category. Let's get him down a tree. Control E. And we'll get him over to I'm gonna do the smaller fields with this guy. I'll do eleven next. And we'll keep going with the soybean. So all our placeables are filled up for the most part, except for the uh, coffee and donut plant, but the the little mills are filled up, making ingredients for them. We'll take a look at that in a second. And we're making our own fertilizer and seed. I think it's jumpy sometimes. Seems to miss little spots here and there. Okay, sorry. Oh, that's cool. That's trying to make arrangements to have an air conditioning repair man to come out and repair our AC. Nice. To die in there, I can't breathe. <laughs> yeah. You don't realize how much you miss it until it's not there. Yeah. Well, you know, it really kicks in when it gets so humid up here. Yeah. And it but screws up my uh, with my emphysema and everything. It's oh. Uh, Okay, that field's done. Let's take a look at the map here. Okay, 6 and 11 are done. I'll go down and do 26 next. Just picking off these little fields. Let's see. There we go. Get something different in this field. Let's see. We'll do some canola. Uh oh, is this already done? Uh -oh. oh, I thought I teleported. Shoot, there might be two crops in that field now. Let me go. <laughs> Let me see if I can go over it with soybeans again. Shoot. Which field are you at? Uh, Eleven. Soybeans, soybeans. Uh, I just passed it. No, I haven't been up there, so... <coughs> I'm doing these other four fields that Joe combined. Oh, yeah.
This one looks like it was dark. Oh no, it's not dark. Do you suppose uh, Giants will stick to their normal schedule and uh, get this out in like October? Yeah, it's usually, it's, it seems to come out around October, the end of October. I'm just looking forward to seeing special gameplay videos. Yeah, that's what kills me with all them E3 things, man. It's all trailer footage. It's like, yeah, that's nice, but that's not how the game plays. <laughs> <laughs> Show me what the game is going to look like. Yeah, like a lot of people complain about that. I'm surprised they don't listen to it because it's like that's, it, you know, it looks fantastic, but that's not gameplay. Yeah. Well, you know, a lot of the stuff, um, well, I don't know, I guess it depends on the game, but, you know, some of the, the video I saw for, like, The Division. Yeah. The gameplay video looks just about as good as the trailers. Yeah. They're getting that, they're getting so, that good, man. Yeah. I'm hoping this is going to be that good. Yeah. Yeah, it would be nice. I'm, I'm curious to see if they're going to do what some people said they were going to do and ditch the whole engine all together and start from scratch, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what they did with the, uh, the graphics engine, if they just did an update or if they went with something completely different. I wonder. Oh, this is pretty hilly, this part. Holy. Actually, these fields could be connected together one of these days. It's super, uh, 26 and 27. Oh, we don't own 27 just yet. Okay. Yeah, this little cedar skips spots for some reason. It's pretty hilly where I'm at, but... The ground must be a little uneven on the field. Yeah. Oh man, oh, it's really hilly. Oh. Didn't realize it until I looked at the ground level. <laughs> it's like, holy. What was the one we were... Was that Cherry Hills that we were having such trouble yeah, with? Yeah, there was one that had a huge dip in it, and it was... Oh. You have to come at it from like three different directions to fill <laughs> yeah. it in. <laughs> Especially if you got a big cedar because it won't sit in there, like it just kind of goes right over the top of it. Yep. Okay, so those fields are done. What else do we need here? Whatever Seven. big ones. Uh, 723, 20. 20's good, yeah. You know what I mean. All those little... I did... Uh, no, I, I'll do 21 and 22. They're just kind of small. And all of them, like 32, 34, 35, I'll do all those. Why can I not switch my seat type here? Uh -huh. Oh, there we go. Okay. If it's on, yeah, you gotta watch it. You still want to do uh, just something that produces straw? Yeah, sure. It's whatever okay. you want, man. Because we can pretty much use anything. Uh, All right. But, uh, switch from wheat to barley. Yeah, the straw is definitely good because we can use that for so much. Okay, so that field is completed. Let's go over and we'll do 21 and 22 next. Oh, that's already planted. Okay, that must have been two I bought. There's a header here in uh, by 22 if we're, if we're ever looking for one. Yeah, okay, it's a grain header. <laughs> grain header or corn header? A uh, regular header, yeah. Okay. Let's see here. Why am so, I not? So those two fields oh, are done. 
Oh shoot, there goes my phone again. <laughs> Go for it, man. <coughs> um, let's see, he's down doing seven. Maybe I'll tackle three, four, five, and eight. They're kind of big too, but nah, I can do it with this. That's fine. So let's switch our seed to. Eh, we'll do some sunflower, why not? So the seed's still holding out. So yeah, I'm, on, I'm psyched about FS19 coming out now after. It's on seven. I'll, I'll leave 23 and 20 for you two, Dragon, if you don't mind. I'll hit the other three down there. All right. The other four down the very bottom. What's your weather been like up there, Nick? <laughs> What's that? What's your weather been like up there? Uh, not too bad, man. It's still pretty cold at night. It still gets down to around zero, like uh, Celsius. Really? Yeah, it's still getting. It's still pretty cold here, man. It's far from like uh, summer weather, or even good spring weather. Huh. Yeah, everything's okay. budding and coming out, and the grass is growing. But yeah, it's just cold at night. Here, I guess. Well, I guess I've never really been up in that neck of the woods, so. It's usually warmer here this time of year, but it's just strange. It's strange time of year or uh, strange summer we're having, I guess. Uh, I'm going to go and empty that harvester over there. Uh, where's the Ottens up here? Okay, we'll grab him. Fur from swimming weather, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> it's not even really t-shirt weather yet. Oh, I'm running around here. I'm out of seed. Oh, no. Uh, if uh, You can just get it at the firm if you want, man. Okay, uh, I didn't even notice that. I'm driving around the field <laughs> looking at it going, why am I not planting anything? <laughs> I know some's being made, but you're going to have to travel it to, it's just a pain in the butt, until we yeah. get a place to keep it all at, in one spot. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, I think nice. I got a, I think I have a, uh, a little mini silo that holds powdered fertilizer and seed, and you can just park the cedar right under it. Oh dear, oh great, now i got to try and transport this thing somewhere near where I can actually get it in. <laughs> That's the worst thing, because you, uh, you need both halves, eh? Oh, that one doesn't even split in half, that cedar. Nope, oh, good heavens, That's not good. <laughs> but there's no hit detection on it, pretty much, all of it, so... Uh, let's see, okay, he's oh, empty. Oh, no, don't unfold. <laughs> don't, oh god, that keeps unfolding on me. <laughs> Let's see, over to... Okay, there's Cedar. This guy. Okay, I want to get him down to field... We'll do 36 first. Now, I want to make sure there's nothing on there, because, okay, all these are fine. I have to... I mean, I can do them. Because I know some of them I bought in between games, and there might have been some crop on them, but... Um... Okay, one's being done. Okay. So this can be seeded. Fully seeded back at it. And I'm gonna put some... Uh, let's put some more barley down, why not? I don't know why I'm gonna put some corn down. There you go. <laughs> Just to mix it up a little bit. Try not the like corn. Certain things I only like to do on big fields because it's it's almost not worth your while because you get such a low uh, yeah number. You don't get much out of it. Yeah. Well, it depends too on what you use like corn for. 
Yeah. I mean, if you use it for silage, then you need a pretty good sized field for it. But you do. Yeah, you don't get a big yield, or the sunflower is pretty, uh, pretty bad too. Yeah, sunflower could only they both have pretty low yield. Yeah. It's almost pointless to do a small field of that stuff. Okay, I'm actually gonna hire a worker here for a minute. This guy's missing spots. I'll just have to come back and fix that up. Let's see how he does up here, actually. I wanna see if he can get turned around. There's some pretty funky dips on here. Oh, look at that overhang. <laughs> oh, you'll see it on the replay. Ooh. Yeah, she is hilly. You should see the map I'm going to review. Uh, the Pacific Northwest. It's nice, man, but it's uh, one of the hilliest maps I've ever seen. Oh, that would be kind of a bear. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Did you look at the one that I, I sent you uh, looking for? Uh, no, I didn't, but uh, yeah, that's Stevie's. Uh, what was it, Sherwoods? I think Sherwood? it's an updated Sherwood. Yeah. yeah. No, I didn't check it out, but uh, I will for sure. <coughs> I'm not really sure what all changes were made to it, but it's like yeah. it's mapped by Stevie, so. That's right. Can't be bad. Yeah. Yeah, I looked at another one I wasn't too impressed with. It was, uh, it's just too basic. What was it called? Uh, Thunder Valley. Okay. It was just pretty straightforward. It was nice, big square fields on it, but it wasn't much thought into it. Like, just so basic. Just a little plain. Yeah. See, I look at a lot of maps where I'm just like, nah, I'm not going to just, you know, to do a review, <laughs> review it. It's like, no, I got to half like it. That's what I had somebody comment one time. They said, well, you, you know, you never give bad reviews. It's like, well, that's because I only review my things I like. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah, I don't I, review I, just anything. Like, it is funny because he's right, but it's usually because I like it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to review crap. Yeah, exactly. It's like, well, here it is. And, you know, people aren't going to have nice things to say about it. So it's, no, why bother? But it is true, like... When you review like movies, you you review it whether it's good or bad. Yeah, it is funny well, how that works. You know, I mean, if you run into something that doesn't work right in a mod, you let people know. You that's you right. Like the mod. Yeah, that's right. If there's yeah, if there's certain things I I can see, I'll definitely mention them. It's like maybe they could fix that in an update or. And that's a good way to let the modders know too that there's an issue. Yeah, and some appreciate it. Some really do. Because I notice when some people update stuff, like, they they actually listen to what I said, and they, you know, they tackle it, and it's like, perfect, that's what you should be doing. Take people's, you know, like, that's why I hate when people go off at, at modders like that. It's like, just tell them, like, you know, work with them. You don't have to eat his head off. Because he yeah. made something you don't like. You don't... The only thing yeah. I don't like is what, like mods. Like I said, pe when people put out mods that are just broken, it's like, man, like, w why would you want to attach your name to that? Like, that's just embarrassing. It, I would never do that. If I yep. if I made it, I would, you know, I'd be embarrassed to put my name on it. Uh, Some of them just throw it out there just to throw something out there. Yeah, it's like, look what I made. It's like, yeah, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Great job. But I'm sure most feel that way. Let's see. Sugar beet. The sugar beet, or the sugar factory is full. There's only 5% made, though. Just checking the placeables here. Uh, let's see. Let's take a look at the milk factory. That is not functioning. That one needs barley, soybean, or sunflower. It's completely empty, that one. Uh, the other three seem to be going, moving anyway. The, how the chickens doing? Oh my God, she's calling me again. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, the manure is almost filled there. Fifty-five percent eggs. No, I'm, I'm going to get that manure and uh, bring it on down to the orchard. Okay, let's find a semi, folks. He's in there. That I'm gonna steal this guy because we got the Otten over here. Oh, 
Actually, I gotta use the item for a sec to get him emptied. Oh no, we can just use this guy. This guy already got poop in him. Good. Oh no. Oh, I didn't notice that embankment. <laughs> That's quite the tip on that. Before I, uh... Take him up there. I want to empty that harvester. Oh, good lord. <laughs> now her car is making a strange noise. Oh no. Okay, I'll leave him there for now. Let's go back and go down and check those chickens. I don't know where I'm going to put these sugar beets, so I'll figure it out. Oh, that's quite the embankment. Okay. We have a grass field. Yes, there's a G4 and G5 down the bottom. It's a good okay. spot. Okay, we'll try to dump these sugar beets. Oh, that thing's full, man. Shoot. totally crash into the hedge oh yes that new map I'm gonna be reviewing you can remove the hedges but he oh, doesn't that's say always nice. yeah do you know how to do that uh, I heard some maps can do that I don't know how to do that yeah either do I I think you ha have to use that uh, like that stunt grinder the yellow one okay and I think you can get rid of them that way I'm not a hundred percent sure on that that'd be cool because he doesn't say how to do it it's just like you can remove the hedges and it's like, well, I didn't know if you had to go into the EXE file or, but, uh, yeah, you might be, I tried hacking at it with the chainsaw because I seen somebody else's, uh, taking hedges out, but it was a different kind of map. <coughs> yeah, I don't know what to do with those sugar beets. I'm just going to have to leave them there for now. Alright. For a variety, I'm going to stick some canola down here. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to take this guy over to the chickens. Make sure that's 
a nice square field. I'm just going to let a worker run that one. Yeah. Okay. What have we got? What have we got? Man, you got a lot of manure from those uh, chickens, man. Yeah, they, they, they produce quite a bit. They do. Holy. Like, there was like a half a million liters there. Whew. That'll come in handy. That's going right down to the coffee orchard. Yep. You got something to pick that up with? Yep. It, it just comes out of a pipe. Oh, does it? You don't yeah. have to scoop it? Okay. Thank God. I hope they do that for uh, Farming Simulator 19 to uh, put put these pipes where like on the cow farms and stuff, so you don't have to. Uh, I guess it takes the fun out of it, but it just I'm lazy. <laughs> well, I should yeah, I should you know give you the option or something. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And fix the conveyors, man, because the conveyors really sucked in this one. In 15, they were really good. I used them all the time. Yeah, I don't like the conveyors in this no, 17. I don't know, man. Dean likes them. He can get them going, but I had no luck with uh, them, man. I had such trouble trying to get them to work. Yeah, like you just got to babysit them. Like the other ones, you didn't have to do that. Yeah, it's funny how something can go backwards. You'd think it would get better, if anything. They had a really cool attachment on one there, Dragon. It was a front loader attachment. And it just had it, it went right up over the top of the tractor. Yeah. And you could bring a tipper, and it just went right oh, up yeah, over yeah. into the tipper. You can drive you right talk into about it. That one. Oh, it was super awesome. Yeah. Where are all the uh, replaceable uh, factory thingies? What seals are they? P2 on? and P3. Or P3 and P4. I'm heading to the orchard right here. Oh, okay. They're there. Just drop some manure off, so that'll get the or the coffee beans growing. Dump the dump. Not gonna let me put it in sideways, no. It's funny how sometimes you can actually feel the weight of the load that you're moving around and other sometimes you can't like if it's a mod that's yeah. overpowered you know what I mean like you can haul a million liters around like nothing but sometimes you gotta hold the W key in for like a few seconds just to get a little <laughs> speed going you can really feel that weight there we go okay that is filled up that only holds 200,000 liters that's fine that's quite all right Now where am I going to put the excess poop? I don't want to sell it, that's like gold. What else needed that? Is there greenhouses on this map? I do believe there is. Uh, I think so. <coughs> where the heck were they at? I'm pretty sure there's one up around the farm. I think around P1 or something. Let's teleport over there. Well, I better hit a wide part of the road because you know it ain't going to go well. Okay, get some flour and sugar going here. Yeah. Here's one. Ooh, <laughs> it's gonna be hard to get a. Oh, I know what. I think you need to use a uh, bucket to fill those greenhouses, don't you? Yeah, I don't know. I I, I know some of them you do, but I thought you could do do it with a tipper. Stevie's, you you had to. Not the uh, big ones that need a, all the different resources. Just the simple ones. Oh, oh, well, that, that just I'm need not water sure. and just the little tiny ones. Here, let's see. We'll find out. Go back over the garden. Let me get a signal there. I get a feeling that's uh, not going to work. No. 
Okay, let's leave him there for a second. That harvester up there needs to be unloaded. Let's uh, grab another tipper. Get the yacht in here. How did he get through the yacht? That was weird. Hmm. It's like the yacht should have been in his way and he was in front of it. And needed to be unloaded. That was weird. Hmm. Nothing stops that harvester. No. I gotta fill, I gotta empty this guy ten times before I can fill this otten. Yep. That's crazy. Yeah, we gotta get, uh, get Joe to see if he can pop that up to a million. That way we can just let it go and when it stops, it stops. Alright, there we go. 400,000 so far. I don't know where we're gonna put all this. We'll find some corner to drop it on the ground. Okay, we'll leave him there. Ooh, we got eggs here. Or, uh... How did I get that on there? A little sugar. Oil. <clears throat> what do we need here to get this going? Yeah, we're just waiting on some oil and some yeah. milk. I got some oil coming, 45,000 liters. Nice. I'm just going to move this guy out of the way here. I'm going to go watch Dragon bring this in. I can hear some areas. Oh, we got the hose extended. <laughs> Mark seen it on my, on mine last time, and I never seen it. Yeah. Getting that hose animation across the map again. <laughs> I haven't <laughs> seen that one for a while. Yeah. All right. Now, so now that's that. Go we'll get some milk. Nice. All right. So we're gonna be making donuts. Sweet. Not sure how much milk we got. The thing isn't turning anymore. Yeah, that shut down. I think it only got a little bit in there. Uh, which one is the milk? This one. Let's see. I don't know if oh, we got yeah. any, anything in storage. 38,000 liters. Alright, well, we'll get a little it going bit. for a bit anyway. We, this one needs to be filled. This one could take either sunflower, soybean, or barley. But we, we got, got any of that bit. stuff? That's what I was just wondering. Uh, we got no sunflower, we have no barley, or no wheat. <laughs> and I would say, I say no. Yeah, and there's only 2,000 liters of so uh, uh, soybean, so that's not worth even. But we got lots in the ground. That's what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to, well, I'll follow yeah. Dragon over so we can check out that factory firing up. And then I'll go finish seeding that. So yeah, just for seed, and we'll just go nuts with the uh, the wheat and the barley. Get a bunch of that going. Should have planted. Well, I, I did get barley in one field, one good sized field there anyway. Yeah, and I see wheat there too. Yeah, lots of wheat. All right, that's golden. Nice. Okay. And empty. So 20's done too. Oh, nice. Okay, that's all done. So yeah, you got two big fields of barley. We got two big fields full of uh, wheat. Should have fields with uh, wheat. Not that last one. I put canola. Yeah. So we can use that for vegetable oil. I'll go check that cedar. I think he missed some spots there. Uh, let's see, where's he at? My guy. Putting in 
once you get most of it. Well, we got left here, 16 minutes. Whoa, that went by really quick. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking it would be like a half hour left. Thank God for you, man, because I'd be flying solo today. <laughs> I'd be oh, flying solo. <laughs> Alright, what else do we need here? Hey, Just Mr. Doggy. Things to be done. Yeah, that's, that's one of our hairy beasts barking at something. If you want, Dragon, you could test out the fuel and see if you could sell it. Alright, uh... Do we have a tanker that's empty? It should use... It should be, be able to use any of those tankers as long as they're empty. Alright, let's... Go. And that's down at, uh... We're pretty close to it. It's on, right on the corner of that racetrack, that little dirt spot. Yeah, I'd be curious to see if that works. Those tankers should work. Alright, well, we shall see. Yeah. Oh, I should have gone this way, though. Oh, he's totally missing that whole spot. What's going on? Okay, there we go. Oh, there's race cars here. I'm driving yeah. a race car. <laughs> Feel done. Oh, looks like a couple of spots over here. Oh, that, yeah, yeah. He done messed it up. Done have to fix it up for him. Look at the look at the leveling on this field. Look, no wonder he missed spots. It couldn't be more bumpy. Look at it going sideways. Yeah, she got some funky shape to it. Well, we'll, we'll get what we can. It's too bad you couldn't, like, uh, get some kind of grater to flatten that out. There's an idea for a mod, a ground flattener. Look at that. I wouldn't believe the dips in this field, man. Holy. <laughs> it's like just almost impossible to see some spots. <coughs> Alright, so the airport. Where is the airport? That's a good question. Let's see. Uh, do, do, do. That is right on the uh, west coast by P5. By P5. Okay. Okay, I see the runway. Yeah. I just gotta figure out how to get there. Yeah, you'll see on the replay how hilly this is. Holy. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> like it's. This is. Man. It's gonna be interesting to see how the harvester goes over this. I think there's not much I can do here. It's just gonna miss those spots. Oh, I got it. I guess if you're stubborn enough, you'll eventually get it. <laughs> <laughs> just gonna keep flailing away at it. That's it. 
try every angle. All right, unloading. See money coming in? Yes, nice. Excellent. Sweet. Thank you for that tip, whoever you are. Really appreciate it. Excellent. User joined your channel. Hey, -o. Hey. You guys see the new uh, trailer that came out today? Yeah, it looks cool, man. It, I haven't watched it yet because I'm out the boat. Oh, yeah, it looks good. It looks really yeah. good. Got all the cotton and the horses and. Yeah. Uh, John the, Deere. They finally John signed Deere, John Deere. Baby, John yeah. Deere. Yeah, I was Excellent. just watching a little bit of uh, Dar Darwin's uh, review on the trailer. Nice. But I haven't watched it yet, so. Yeah, it's good. Of course, it's all CGI, so. Yeah, it's just the uh, trailer footage stuff. Alright, it's done loading. I'm not sure how much money we got there, but. Uh, whoa, over a million. 1,184,000. Nice. Holy! <laughs> Let's see. Does that seem off to you, or that uh, seems like no. a lot of coins? Now, are you guys just playing, or are you guys streaming, or? Uh, he's yeah. recording. I'm streaming. He's recording. Oh, you're All streaming. Right. You got that going, did you? Yeah. Nice. Sorry to bug you guys. Oh no, that's cool, man. We're short of bodies anyway this week for some reason. Yeah. Uh. Mark and uh, Joel are missing today. Yep. Yeah. Alright, oh, jeez, I teleported right down the half. Oh, I'm stuck in a donut factory. <laughs> okay, I brought this guy out of here. So I heard you got back. snow the other day there, Nick. No, not here. Up on French Mountain, you guys did. Oh, really? No, I'm not yeah. too familiar with it. Is that on the island? Yeah. I never even that's heard up of on, that. Uh, that's up by um, Betty Camp and stuff. Oh, no, I, did, I didn't hear that. Oh, look, man, that's it's pretty on, bad. It's on the Cabot Trail. Holy. Yeah, I was telling Dragon that it goes down to zero at night here. But no, I haven't seen any snow, thank God. Yeah, I sent uh, <laughs> a friend that's from Shetty Camp uh, posted they got like two to three inches up there. Wow. That's crazy, man. Hey, Nick, you know what? Yo. Grab one of those tippers that's got sugar beads in it. You can dump that in the fuel silo. Oh, can you? Good. Yes. Okay, I'll do that. Because it's uh, empty at the moment. Let's see. You know, it would be awesome if they could put the silos d diverse tile so if it's empty it can turn into anything oh that would be good yeah but it'll only take one thing you know what i mean that's all yeah the fuel silo did you say dragon yeah, yeah. it'll take sugar beet good 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 Nice biofuel going. Man, that pays off well. And there's still like all these silos make uh, silage too, and there's a million liters just sitting here in this. Uh... Actually, that won't make any more until we empty those. Yeah, you gotta empty those. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, actually, I got the autumn right here. I'll just empty it. We're going to have an abundance of that stuff, too. Uh, this stuff, you should be able to sell it, though. And make total mix ration. That's another thing we got to find, though. How to make... I might have to get a TMR machine. Uh, do they have one already? They might I, have one already. I don't know. Cows. I'm not too sure. I haven't I'll been over there. I'll have to check that out. Okay, I got a trunk full of eggs again. Drop that off. Well, I'm gonna go talk to Mad for a little bit. Okay. Alright, Cal. Take it easy. See ya.
Okay, I'm taking this back to the firm. I'll put as much as I can in storage. How's our orchard doing? Oh, I see it growing. Woohoo! Okay, so we can get rid of the excess sugar beets now. The excess. Ooh, that's a tiny little field. Okay. <coughs> what do we got left here? Five minutes. Oh man, like I, I was playing Euro Truck. Uh, I haven't played it in a long time. They yeah. changed that. There was a lot more cops now. <laughs> man, I yeah, get tickets well, they, yeah. left and right. Like I, I noticed before, they only got you uh, like they had those uh, tra the speed traps. But now they got, there's actually cops traveling the roads in cop cars. And yeah, if they, they didn't have those before. They no. had those not too long ago. And I notice, like, sometimes you'll see them, they'll have people pulled over and stuff on the side of the road. Yep. But uh, I had to turn it off because, I mean, I was getting five, six tickets per run. It's, <laughs> And, I mean, I'm heavy. I'm heavy on the foot. Like, I'm the type that'll end up getting in an accident because I'm just, like, I'm going to get there as fast as I can. Most people would, <laughs> I would think. <laughs> Unless you're trying to play realistic, but I get road rage playing that game, man. People oh, get yeah. my way and stuff, and you can't pass them because you're on a, like a, a, a windy <laughs> road. And you're just too nervous. <laughs> it's like, man, I don't want to overtake them because something could come around that corner. I got in a really bad accident yesterday, actually. I uh, I hit a uh, railroad crossing in the middle of the night on like a dark, dark stretch. Yeah. And I was like, what the hell are those red lights? And I thought it was just tail lights. And then I came up on it, just boom. <laughs> not, not so much. No. Yeah. It's like there's no give on that either. You, normally you just fly right through it, but it was just like hitting a brick wall. <laughs> that was funny. And I, oh, did I ever damage the truck? Oh, yeah. I couldn't keep it started. It kept stalling on me. That's one of those you get, probably have to call a tow truck. Yeah, I almost had to. One time I uh, I flipped it. I ended up flipping one one time. That was a long time ago. Oh, yeah, I've done that. that. I had to, was on a previous version when I was running a, a map mod on an American truck. Right. And right in the middle of a highway, all of a sudden there was a barrier. Oh. There was a bit of a glitch in the map. Right. But I couldn't avoid it. I mean, I plowed into it full speed, and I ended up having to call a tow truck. Because <laughs> I, I destroyed the truck. Yeah. Okay, the silos are filled with uh, this stuff, but I don't know what the... I'm, I'm looking for a total mix ration machine. Here, I'm going to see if there's one on the map here. I don't remember seeing one, but you never know. I'd be surprised if there was one by the cows. Yeah. I just don't remember seeing one. But they could. Sometimes maps, I've seen them inside buildings at times. Uh, let's see here. I don't, I don't, I don't think. Unless they got it stuck somewhere else. Hmm. If not, we definitely got to get one. Can you put silage in the seed thing? Don't think so. I think it's just seed. Seed for seed. Oh, you can put sugar beets in the uh, the dry fertilizer tower factory. And okay. the uh, both fertilizer tanks. But wet and dry. Uh, I'm actually going to try that. On... Uh, Silage. I doubt it'll take silage. Oh, darn. You can't get in the race cars. No. Shoot. It's funny. I tried that too. <laughs> <laughs> no. Won't take silage. Shoot.
Okay, let's uh, see where we can sell it. Get a few dollars for it. Uh, let's see. There it is. 321 a liter. That's horrible. 486, man. I swear you used to get over... In 15, I'm pretty sure you got over 1,000 for that stuff. Man, there's only two places that'll buy it. The uh, McLean Biogas and the airport. And the airport ain't paying much. So we're going to McLean Biogas plant. That's just a BGA. Let's see. Way down south. Yep, the other sugar beet harvester again. Oh, we're down to ten seconds. I just happened to look at the clock. Oh. <laughs> I'm just gonna see if I can dump this in here. Uh, okay, we'll fill it up. Let me get rid of that horrible noise. No more capacity for silage. Only put 5,000 liters in there. Holy moly, that don't hold much. No, it holds 50,000 liters. The BGA is the same deal there, Dragon. You can, you got to put so much in and oh, let it process. Let it process. Yeah. Oh, well. There is another episode down the books, guys. We got our seeding underway. We got our factories up and running. Uh, Dragon got the donut factory all up and running, all those ingredients. And things are starting to look good. So thank you so much for joining us today. If you enjoyed today's episode, maybe you can leave a like on your way out. And if you're new to the channel, guys, why don't you go ahead and click on Nick right there in the middle of your screen. And I'll bring in new mod reviews every second day and Let's Plays every other day. Plus, my Patreon link is just below that. If you'd like to help and contribute to the channel, it really helps out. So until next time, take care, and I will see you guys all in the next one. Get you later.